this video I want to talk about web data extractor so from a simple Google search uh, you basically just gotta scroll through all of the advertisements and you can get the web data extractor It's basically web extractor once you click on the download area you'll be able to get to uh, web data extractor version 3 and this is where you're gonna get the particular site from the particular site then you can open it up okay we're gonna use this in the evaluation mode so go ahead and run through the install wizard and you basically can select next all the way through okay once it's done go ahead and click start run through And scroll to web data extractor in web data extractor when you click it and open it it's a uh, it's a pretty basic program so go ahead and maximize it and we're gonna go specify a URL you can just click start to open up the dialogue um, but go ahead and do it with www.cybrary.it or whatever destination you would like um, keep in mind that black hats do whatever they want gray hats uh, only do this um, basically if they're hired to do it and then white hats do this with inside of a company um, so there's three calibers of people because basically I actually just showing you how anybody could get to this point with uh, no authorization um, realistically required okay so go ahead and select your starting URL And before you, if you notice, if you just select the, the site, uh, directory and groups, and you just click on OK, it's going to say, you know, please specify data to extract in the session setting. OK, in this case, we're going to have to tell it what we want. And we can do that right down here in the bottom right. We can extract emails, phone numbers, faxes. Um, I would also get the, the meta tags as well. Extra, extract the body of the site if you want details. This will provide produce verbose results so we're gonna um, leave that off at this point uh, because it's just too much code realistically for a basic search but if you want to extract the URL you can do it as the base URL the for URL or the full or non HTML URL it just depends on the, the realistically the different formatting that you want you can also tell it you know certain uh, depths to retrieve and the number of pages okay um, so if you go ahead and click on OK, you can see what a basic search was, would look like. Now I'm going to do a basic search um, just for presentation here, uh, but I'll show you in a second how we can get to the, the all the advanced stuff. Okay, so we can start scrolling through. So if you click on uh, new settings, you'll get to a different part of the sessions. Okay, this is how you open up uh, a separate uh, um, dialog box. This is how you open up a separate. This is how you open a separate dialog box uh, for your destination. So we're going to do www.leodragger.com and we're going to select on extract emails, phones, and faxes. We're going to get meta tag information. We're going to extract the site body uh, and any sort of URL. If you want, you can actually uh, choose uh, the uh, how much you actually want in your search results. If you want just the URL or wrapped in uh, you know the complete bracket you know HTTP colon forward slash you know the, the full thing so you have different features there um, but you can basically just run a basic report so we'll go ahead and give that a second to run
So if you click on start, then you get to, you'll, you'll see a whole bunch of things basically flooding through your buffers. Uh, in this case, you can start evaluating that. You saw some video appearances, um, look like some information about WordPress, uh, biographies. Uh, you can just see the different results. So it's going to index, is, well, the websites we told it to index, in this case by default, and it's just going to run. And I would just, you know, this is the time where you go get a cup of coffee. So we'll let this finish. So while it's searching, if you um, if you selected meta tags, you can basically just kind of read these like a little tiny book, okay? And they'll go through, and it kind of tells a story. So in this case, there's a, for me specifically, there's a lot of skills, social networking, testimonials, videos, uh, comments, public speaking, and things of the nature. Uh, also, you can correlate the title of the information to the actual URL, and sometimes cross-referencing gives you uh, another insight. So if you see something on, you know, a uh, testimonial here, and it's actually linked to video down here, in that case, you would link it as a video testimonial versus a written testimonial, maybe not linked somewhere else. Um, if you go through, you can see what emails that it finds. Apparently, you didn't find any. If you look at phones, um, you can go to the URLs and get a complete diagnostic on uh, URLs uh, in terms of the history. You can scroll down here. Uh, these would be all the ones that it found uh, specifically for Leo Drager in uh, dot com. Uh, any inactive sites. So if I want to do phones, you know, then you can run through the phones. So it says here, you can resume or restart current session. If you wish to restart the session, all found data will be cleared. So in this case, we're going to uh, resume the connection. we got to wait it to, for it to finish. Um, and it's only picked up a handful of meta tags and URLs at this, at this time. And you just keep cycling through the, these tabs until it populates with, uh, you know, the information that you need. That you need. Otherwise, you can do. Um, if you forget where you're at, you can click on the session information and see, hey, that's your target. Sometimes you let this program run and you come back to it an hour later and say, hey, what was that again? So that's maybe helpful. Root data folder. Uh, where do you want to put the? Um, the information that you're downloading um, and then you can edit the session and in this case I'm just gonna clear the current uh, session and go back to the details okay what you can do is you can select search engines okay if you want to add those in this is where you would do it um, you've got the site directory groups this changes uh, mostly just this section here when it goes through the different tabs in off-site links. Um, now this spider can be helpful at times, uh, but it's realistically, you gotta be really, really digging for information if you're gonna use uh, uh, spiders, because spiders will, are basically, you just crawl the end of the internet till they it runs out of things to find, or it times out, or it just things stop responding to it, um, or you tell it to stop. So uh, you always wanna be careful in any sort of spider settings. You can f filter certain content. This is helpful in itself because let's say I wanted, you guys obviously know I do videos. So let's say if you wanted to download a video, you could just look, you know, download right here, you know, the file type that you want and try to filter the results. Otherwise, if you know a specific text, uh, again, you could be produce thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces of information. And if you want to start using, you know, uh, and or logic here, you may want to filter the data that way. These are definitely advanced settings at the 
at this point. You know, the, the basic person here is just interested in getting an idea of what the tool does. The intermediate person is interested in kind of collecting information. And then the advanced uh, person is actually, you know, filtering and sorting and, you know, parsing data and types and, you know, whether they're looking for a specific. I want uh, facsimile um, in with a capital F versus not a capital F. I mean, you can get down to the nitty gritty uh, in terms of what types of information these types of programs will spider for. Um, also, uh, I always check out the the connections because this gives you you know how many simultaneous threads. So in terms of performance, this is a great great setting um, to kind of back off. If you go at things too aggressively, uh, you tend to get blocked and stopped. But if you just go at a nice, easy, slow pace, then it takes longer, but you can typically not upset certain types of detection systems, honey pots, and things of that matter. Also, if you have any sort of um, login authentication, this is where you would put it. That's basically for the use of the proxy. And that's the session information. Otherwise, that's it. That's basic digging, as I would call it, digging for information on any sort of target.